that you get Kestra chapter. Don't make me start including some saga of Genesis and Terminus. It's too much. Too much. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, last time we got Ashvatamin on our team. Which is cool. We've got to be heading to the cube soon, right? The flaw of being there. Starting off today with a zero AP. School with me. This is going to be, a, a, I think, a little bit of a longer chapter. But, you know. We're almost at the end. We're in the end game now. No. Time? I imagine the climax. Oh. Like Kappa Day. Oh. What? Oh. Spooky. I was about to say, I imagine the climax is going to take place on the final day of the Kali Yuga, right? Okay? Huh? Something young Holmes? No, it's nothing. For a moment, it seems seemed as though there's something off about the surrounding area. Hopefully, it's nothing more than a momentary sensory malfunction. Hmm. So you thought to use people's faith to tear Arjuna down from his divine throne, huh? Unfortunately, it didn't work. Never thought even the false god would be so heartless as to cast away every person who lost their faith in him. I should have known better than to hope for even so much as that from him. I wonder, does having less people to believe in him matter? Or does it just matter that 100% of people believe in him? Honestly, we're kind of stumped right now. I don't suppose you have any good ideas? You're on the right track. Taking away Arjuna's guide status is almost certainly the only way we'll be able to defeat him. But... I know, dang it. Obviously, we can't count on the people of this world to help with that anymore. So then, our only choice is to use something else. Assuming we even can, anyway. Is there something else we can use? So this is this giant cube. We just throw it at Arjuna. Maybe something will happen. <laughs> Really didn't want to bring this up since it's a big hole or all or nothing deal. That makes me mad now. If we mess it up, we'll all be dead and gone. Even if it works, it still only gives us a tiny chance of coming out on top. Still want to hear it? Like you said, we don't have any other choice. Hey, yeah, please tell us, Ashwatthaman. Whatever it is, we're ready to hear it. The biggest factor in Arjuna remaining a god in control of this world is that he's the one advancing the Yuga cycle. The obvious idea that anyone capable of destroying and recreating the world would have to be a god only reinforces his position as one. So as long as he keeps the Yuga cycle going, he's pretty much a perfect god. Makes sense. I mean, you'd have to be one heck of a god to re remake the whole dang world part of my French times two. Oh crap, that's sort of the thingy that's part of the problem, isn't it? Dang it! But if we look at it in another way, that advantage is also a weakness. If we can defy that world remaking, even just a tiny bit, then he won't be a perfect god any longer. I got it. If we like, find like a rock and we write Arjuna is stupid on it, and hope he doesn't remake that, and... I see. Since remaking the world is such a massive undertaking, even the tiniest flaw would have a big impact. Like how a single scratch and a large precious gem makes it its value plummet. But... How do we actually do that? That's the problem. We can't take the safe or easy way out with something like this. We'd have to face Arjuna's world, destroying Noble Phantasm head on. Okay, um, Junako, you can stay behind. <laughs> Refuse to disappear and continue our existence as continuous entities. Once we've done that, we'll have proven his fallibility and really messed up the idea of him as some perfect god. Are you serious? You want us to face that terrifying Noble Phantasm head on? Directly to the forehead? That you are an actual tactician, not an armchair general, you fool. Doesn't matter how plausible something seems if it can't actually be done. Shut up, dang it. You think I don't know that? That's what I'm saying, if we could pull it off. So that's the plan. An almost suicidal battle of endurance where one wrong move means you're gone for good. How about it? Anyone else th think they can pull that off? Oh, okay. Zero IP. I wonder if the uh, caster of Limbo is going to factor into that at all. Is he? I mean, he's here, but he just hasn't done anything yet. I think back on this world. I don't know who this is. Lakshmi? Hmm. 
Well, no, Lock Tree wasn't there for the dog. Mashu? Here. Anything it's got deems useless, defective, or unnecessary. Or probably Pepper Hounds, you know. Gets her geist as though it never existed. And yet, I'm still here. <laughs> How weird is that? Me, a hopeless, unemployed shadow who's only good at video games. Oh, okay. A divine spirit servant in name only who just didn't happen to end up with godly power by some freakish twist of fate. There's no way Arjuna wouldn't hesitate to write someone like me off as worthless. I should have been the first to go, just a spectator, an uninvited guest who's only here by coincidence. At least, that's what I thought. But you know? You and I can't deny that someone knew what I was, so they needed my help anyway. I can't let the hero who placed his trust in me down. So... I, I know what's gonna happen now. I get it now. Gina Ko is gonna fight Arjuna like head on. They're gonna have like a Kamehameha battle. And, like Gina Ko's losing and she's like, oh, I don't, I don't have enough power. But then Karna appears behind her like in uh, Dragon Ball Z when Goku's like a force ghost behind Gohan. And he's like, you can do it. And then, and then she, yeah, it's like that. I'll do it. Or at least I'll try. I think back on this world. Yeah. Here, anything it's got deems useless, defective, or unnecessary. Gets erased as though it never existed. And what could be more useless or unnecessary than a goddess- Oh! Uh, this is- uh, Lakshmi. A goddess of bad luck and misfortune. That said, I'm sure this one wish of mine can still be granted. No matter how despicable the role given to me may be, or how defectively unlucky, unlucky I may have been born, there shouldn't be anything wrong with praying for my family's happiness. No matter what anyone else says about you, I'll always be your friend, kinda Lakshmi. Luck hasn't always been on my side either, like when I failed to defend my country. That's exactly why I want you to trust me. This time, I won't let anything happen to the ones I care about. I'm going to make sure your wish to free Lakshmi from that awful false god comes true. That wish may not be anything so large as a country. It's easily small enough to fit into your hand. Which is why, I'll make sure to hold on to it tightly. I won't let it slip out of my hand for anything. Not for the world, and not for its god. Is everyone going to have a monologue? I'll do it too. I'm sure I can. Okay, so Lakshmi and Junako are finally going to do something. Well, Lakshmi's been useful, but Junako, has she done anything <laughs> since she got here? You guys! But even Karna couldn't withstand that noble phantasm for long. Don't you think it's too risky? Just hide inside the elephant statue. You won't notice. Not gonna lie, if we were, if we were gaming, this would be like a hardcore mode on a nightmare difficulty setting. Not pretty, but it's our only shot. Besides, I think I've got a decent shot at winning. I mean, we're talking pure endurance, not reflexes, right? If I do a bit of min-maxing, I think I can optimize my build just enough to survive. Not to mention that I've got... Ganesha has seen that noble phantasm a couple times now. Basically, all I gotta do is sit still and keep camping until it's over, right? I can do that sort of thing in my sleep. I know because I have before, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Just do you wait. I'm gonna come up with a foolproof strategy before the game starts and show you all what a neat is truly capable of. That's the difference between me and Karna. Between me, the true hero who faces adversity head on. Of course, speaking of someone who never asked to be entrusted with all this responsibility, I figure I need to at least try to live up to it, or I'll never be able to look him in the eye, you know? As for me, I think my purpose lies in protecting others. While I've thus far had to use my noble phantasm to defeat my enemies, it was meant to be used defensively. This seems like a perfect opportunity to do just that. Of course, I'll do my best to tamp down my bad luck and prevent any unfortunate accidents. If you cannot help but worry, I'll understand. I'm sure you would rather remove any uncertain elements when carrying out your... Whoa, whoa, are you kidding me? Pretty much counting on your help out, out there. Honestly, I was a bit nervous about doing this on my own. But if you're there with me, I think I've got a real shot. Just to make sure, you guys do have a plan for making this happen, right? What, you don't believe me? Well, guess I can't blame you. Basically, I'll be using my secondary noble phantasm. As I said before, thinking of applying Alakshmi's power to my true noble phantasm.
I see. There are definite risks with that plan, but there's at least a chance it may succeed. Is there a problem? Not gonna work? I'll say. How the heck you'd actually come up with a plan to pull this off? Oh, it will work. I've gotta explain there, guys. Dang it. Is there something else we need? Oh, for. Were you really planning on withstanding Arjuna's world or you making Cataclysm like it was just a bad storm? Because you can't. If Arjuna doesn't realize something's not right at first, the jester next to him will. Yes, I'm sure he will. That's why he's there, after all. Then, what can we do? If you're gonna evade Arjuna's eye when he looks over the entire world, we'll need to think you belong here. He's gotta take you for granted so much that he never even think to question your presence. In other words, Yeah? Alright, here's the last part of the plan. Wait, you can't just skip over it. I'm gonna send you two back in time. Why? We can do that? Well, I mean, I guess that's the entirety of part one, but <laughs> one AP. That's scary. <laughs> that's terrifying right there. You never want to see a one AP quest. Something wrong? It is a trivial matter, but Ashvataman has escaped his curse. What? Uh, that is a little more, more than a little troubling. Expect it won't be long before he rebels against you. Say, I have an idea. Why not try using your master authority to just make him destroy himself? That would be trivial, but the Kali Yuga is near, as is the end of. The great Kali Yuga. I see. So you'd prefer not to waste your energy on a single servant then? The great Kali Yuga is like when he's perfected it, right? Yes, yes, you do have a point. Especially given the current situation. The world is nearing its limit. The reconstruction it underwent during the last Kali Yuga has brought it to its breaking point. And that means... The world will, uh, I mean, reach perfection in the very next cycle. <laughs> I'm sure you'll need every bit of power you have to bring that about, so it makes perfect sense that you wouldn't want to waste any on him. What? What was kind of the breaking point exactly? I'm assuming it's something related to us being here, right? Was it just us killing the local Paula and, you know, getting all those civilians killed made it faster, or? And I must remind you that Ashvatama is like a demigod, what's the power of Shima, Shiva, and Yama within. Well, he may be no match for you and your absolute divine power. He could still cause trouble for you if you do nothing to stop him from joining up with the observatory survivors. Surely you don't wish for anything to go wrong during your momentous Great Kali Yuga, do you? So, if he did the Great Kali Yuga, what would happen? Would the Lost Belt itself be destroyed? Would the entire world outside the Lost Belt be destroyed? Or would it kill everyone in the world and this Lost Belt tree would become so powerful it eats all the others? Very well. I will send sacred beasts after him. Send every last one that breathes in this land. An excellent idea. I believe they'll certainly be for the best. You ready yet? If not, hurry it up already. We don't have all day here. You really wish you'd stop getting angry every time you talk to me. It's a little tough for negative types like me to deal with. Thank you, just say. Sorry about that, that's just how I am. That doesn't make me feel better at all. All that's left is for us now is to start concentrating. Although, are you sure you want to do this here? I was wondering the same thing. I thought you'd want to go somewhere a little more, uh, Magecraft friendly. It doesn't matter where we do this. Not when these two are about to travel through time. Oh god, I forgot about <laughs> what do you define travel through time? Still can't believe this is happening. Well, I suppose it isn't all that dissimilar from ray shifting. I'm afraid I must disagree. Ray shifting is pure engineering built on Spiritron theory. What we're attempting to do here is a once in a lifetime feat that relies on a series of coincidences. Simply put, a miracle. A miracle only made possible by the anomalous nature of this lost belt rather than regular Earth. And the fact that its inner time and space have grown unstable thanks to Arjuna repeatedly destroying it. 
Even then, it still requires us to make full use of the power of Shiva, the ruler of time. Oh, okay, okay. One might say it is the exploit to end all exploits. Needless to say, we can only employ it once. Why? Wait, we can't do it again? Why don't we just go back in time before the last bolts happened and stop it from... <laughs> Which of course is why I'd like to ensure you are all as thoroughly prepared as possible. If Arjuna ever realizes you two aren't completely of this world, it's over. So you've got to become part of it. Something no one would even think to question, like the sun or the sky. And while you're doing that, you'll have to endure this world-ending cataclysm right up to the present day. When your efforts to prove his fallibility will finally have meaning. How back are they going? That's the only kind of poison that will weaken him enough to defeat him. But much as it makes me mad now to say this, it's basically a way to curse him. Okay, so I've got to ask, how long do we have to do this? From the point where Arjuna first started ruling the world like this all the way to now. Wouldn't that be like, thousands of years? I won't, won't know how long that is until we do it. Or is it... Yeah, okay. I'm guessing it'll be thousands of years, if not longer. Make sure to pack your your Game Boy Junako, and maybe like, you know, like a charger for it. Oh! Are you, are you sure you're sure about this? Jeez, what is this, the millionth time you've asked? I keep telling you, I'll, I'll be fine. I can understand how they feel. I still have my doubts as well. After all, the role you agreed to take on comes with a far greater mental burden than mine. My task will simply be to provide you with power. You're the one who will be using it to maintain the spell in your noble phantasm. You'll have to stay awake the entire time without letting your mind rest, or you're retreating into an inorganic state. You're going to have to maintain uninterrupted consciousness for thousands of years. Look, she's been doing it her whole life. So long a time could drive him on a god to madness. Are you absolutely certain you can handle this? <laughs> Do you even know who you're talking to? I'm a, I'm a professional shut-in. I am the queen. No, the empress of meats. Unless you throw in my mysterious divine powers, I summon some video games and other goodies, and this will be a cakewalk. Like a staycation. I think this is the perfect time to 100% a few thousand hour games I've had in my eye for a while. Senpai? I know Kanae is just treating this lightly, but she must be more worried than she's letting on. I'm sure she's trying to be brave, so as to not worry us. Yeah, we're asking a lot of her. Hey, don't you know better than a whisper about someone right in front of them? Needs are really sensitive, you know? I'm telling you, I'll be fine. Really. Besides, Ashvatama told us all about some top secret info, so that there shouldn't be any problem keeping your pra. There's only if you two make it back here safely. And if everything else goes well, dang it. Just focus on what you're about to freaking do. <sighs> uh, and I just ask you not to get so angry at me. Actually, I think I know now why it's, it's especially hard for me to get near you. You reek of Ganesha's old man, Shiva. It reminds me of the young who always scared me. Wish you'd at least learn to use your inside voice. This won't be an easy job for you either. It'll be like swimming against the current. Are you worried about me? Don't be. I'm used to enduring strenuous conditions. Truly, that's the only way we gorillas know how to fight. She's a gorilla! I know. That's why you. Why I. Look, just hurry up and let me know when you're ready. I'm not gonna rush you, but the sooner we do this, the better. Arjuna is still my master right now. Wouldn't it surprise me at all if he knew I wasn't cursed anymore? And the only thing I'm re really concerned about is him trying to... I'm afraid your concern was well founded. There are wyverns headed from your way from all directions. Holy heck, there's so many of them. Is is this all of them? I've never seen this many before. Shh, now what? Should we try again later or We can't be certain that the situation won't worsen further. We should take we should take care of what we need to do before the sacred beasts reach us. Do you really think we have enough time? They're headed here awfully quick. I'll make sure we have enough time. I have nothing left to hide, so I'll tell you what I'm about to do. I'm going to pour all my magical energy into my noble phantasm. Okay, I don't know what a noble phantasm does. Now that I've made full use of Lakshmi's power, there should be another unavoidable reaction besides bad luck. I'm going to bring that reaction about intentionally, 
At this point, you should be able to control it somewhat. Now there's a group of Kali headed your way too. Dang it, more wizards! There it is. I summoned them. You did what? Uh huh. Now I get it. Anyways, forgetting something important. Alakshmi said to be the Kali, Kali the demon's second wife. I don't know about that, nor can I ask you. But I do sense a connection between the Kali and the goddess inside me. Remember when that giant Kali formed in Bichu? I think that was the consequence of using my goddess power in a fight against William Tell. That's why the Kali were so frenzied back then. I form a connection to them whenever I make full use of Alakshmi's power. But I'll admit I didn't realize this myself until after I saw that giant Kali. If I'd only realized it sooner, we may have been able to lessen the damage they did to Bichu. Does that mean you can control them, or give them instructions? I doubt it. Best I can do is point them in a given direction. But I'll try and command them to hold back the sacred beasts as best I can. Oh! Now that all the sacred beasts are coming this way, we'll be able to actually check out the cube, probably after, you know, we send Juniko and... back in time. Lakshmi's not going back in time, right? Kam Ganesha, Ashvataman, we have work to do. So hoping for a little more time to, you know, mentally prepare. I guess that's not happening. Oh man, I really wanted to do it in a more relaxing environment. We'll just have to play the hand we're dealt. Listen up, this is a big job even for me. It's gonna take time to focus. As much as it makes me mad now, I won't be able to move while I'm doing it. Don't worry, a few hundred sacred beasts is nothing for a man on my butt. <laughs> you okay, Rama? <laughs> Not to worry. Chris likes this just makes for a fairer fight. Or so I was hoping. But I'm afraid things may be more dire than I thought. Ganesha and Lakshmi are preparing for their endurance spell, and Ashvatama is getting ready to send them back in time. Okay, they're both going back. The only ones here who can fight are me, saddled with this curse, and Mashu. Remember Gansino, you know, I don't suppose. Eh, this should either go without saying, but I'm just a human mage. I don't expect any more from me than that. The Ordinax systems are all green. Won't have any issues using it. That said, we're very, very seriously outnumbered. Be difficult to defend against them, let alone drive them away. Ah! Mastery, look out! Wyverns! Oh, gone. She stopped the sacred beast attacking us from above. Ah. Oh. She's gonna help? Thanks, Kogan Sky, uh. Absolutely not. I'm only repaying my debt. Don't mistake this or anything other than that. I'll never help humans. I'll never accept them or love them or forgive them. And the only thing I'll do is repay them any debt I may owe. It's the only reason I'm doing this. And of course, I trust it goes without saying that I can't possibly take care of all these beasts myself. We know that. I'll handle any hostiles that manage to get past Lakshmi's Kali and evade your shots. There's no need to wipe them all out. We just have to buy enough time for... Oh, for... Stop it, Rami. You can't push yourself too hard. Okay, horsey, this is it. Try to buy them as much time as we can. Okay. I wonder if it's like a 100 wave or just like 9. I like how Yama's level 60. Oh, that's funny. Oh, wait. Where'd that go? I saw a Steins Gate reference. Yeah. Their name was Kyoma. Uh, go over to... Where's Singularities? There it is. Want to bring out good old boy Edmund? Uh, maybe just in case, bring out like Kiara. She's gonna get three out of four. What? No, I I told you earlier. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I thought of something that might be the case. You know how it said that uh, Arjuna like snapshots everything? Maybe that's what the cube is? Like the records of everything he snapshotted? So maybe we're gonna go to the cube and pull Karna out of there. Come on, the Karna has to show back. 40? You don't have to kill him all, right? Oh, thanks, Pepe. What? Oh, dude. Perfect. It's just debuff resistance now. Nobody cares about that. I wonder how many we have to kill. It might actually be all of them. <laughs> I mean, they're not that tough, but 40 is a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks, William, tell you. 
Yeah, we're in for a long one. Uh, I didn't really do much yesterday that I could talk about. Uh, <laughs> just played Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm getting close to being done with the introductory chapter of White Al Album 2. I think... I probably have like a, maybe an hour two left. It very clearly reached an emotional climax. Uh, I still... I don't really like it that much so far. I think it's it's fine. It's not, you know, comic gay to you, though. Well, I mean, isn't that the case for all comic gay that get translated? People will hype up a game. Oh, DC, guys, it's, it's the second coming of Christ. It's the best visual novel ever. And I mean, like, yeah, it's good. No, it's but well, of course, translation quality does factor into this, but it's not. Like DC Greg had a good translation, didn't it? Sure, it's not the original, but it it gets across like probably like let's say eighty percent of the original text. That's just pulling a random number out, but. But you still get across, you know, the basic plot and, you know, the characters without, even with a subpar translation, which, as far as I understand, why album 2 isn't the best. But, I mean, I've also seen much worse. I'd call it an acceptable translation. As someone who doesn't speak Japanese and has no idea what the original looks like. <laughs> A lot of people, you know, they, they when they compare it to translation, they just compare it to the source material, which is, you know, completely fair. But also, if it's readable, like, you know, just by itself, you know, that, that counts for something. Even if it's not, you know, matching the original text. I guess it'd be better if it did, but... You know, I haven't thought about this in a while. How is Fate Grand Order's translation? I remember back in the early days there were a lot of issues with it, but I haven't heard anything about that in a while. I think people were upset with how they adapted, I mean, well, translated slash localized Agartha. Because I think they did do more, I, I think they changed some stuff in it, right? So that's m more localized. Well, I mean, every translation is a localization, but you get what I mean. It's a complicated issue that people get too serious about. Like, it's something worth caring about, but... The visual novel sphere actually has a pretty lucky. Since I know, like, you know, a lot of, like, more mainstream, like, RPGs and stuff get, you know, translation cider. Could be way off from the original. Okay, we're still going, huh? You know what? I mean, what what do we talk about? Have I been reading anything? Uh, not really. Still waiting for that book from the wall. I haven't actually checked it. Maybe it's maybe it's here already. Gotta get caught up in Greek mythology for uh, the next Lost Belt. Which, you know, I'm glad I started, re like, I researched the Maharyabada, and I'll probably be glad I researched Greek, Greek mythology. It's more fun when you have an understanding. Oh, okay. Only about half. Maybe it was eight turns. But when you understand what's going on, like, on a more than just, like, you know, tangential note, like, you know, I'm vaguely familiar with, like, you know, Ar Arthurian mythology, for example, but I'm not like an expert on it. So actually having a decent understanding really makes it better. Of course, there's a lot of Hinduism that I don't know anything about, but... <laughs> I guess there's only so much we can do, even if it's just to buy time. We're all doing our best, but there's just not enough of us. Unfortunately, there's nobody else who can help us now. There's nothing more we can do on our own. Well, that's not entirely true. Huh? Obviously, we can't increase our numbers or anything. 
We still might be able to pull this off if we change how we go about it a little. We just try harder, yeah. Uh, if you're talking about psyching yourself up and giving it 120%, I don't think that's going to help. No, I don't mean that. See, there's something, someone here who's still trying to play it cool, even in this situation. There's your old dummy who has, has yet to put all their cards on the table. I'm the dummy, it's me! Oh? I wasn't planning to do this in front of you and Mashi, Horsey. Maybe that's because I'm still technically your prisoner, and I thought I'd be better off if I didn't do anything that'd make you more suspicious of me. But now that I think about it, I don't really mind if you know. If it means we'll make it out of here alive, I don't see any reason to hesitate. Uh, what are you talking about? Killing. Oh. Step in with Jinso Kutsu, use Tashi Nitsu to read how it's going to act, and... He's not just a normal human mage! These things are might not be ordinary creatures, which don't likely keep their brains in their stomachs or have organs made of diamonds, right? As long as their bodies follow mostly the same rules as ours, and apply the knowledge I already have and probably manage somehow. From there, all I have to do is destroy their vital organs, and they'll die just like any other creature. It's time to say I like doing this sort of thing. Just awful in my cuti cuticles. Is it cuticles? Cuticles? It's not even any fun. Cut I'm trying to think of the last. Look, nobody ever says that out loud. That's like your your, your thing. The uh, I'm gesturing the uh, the the fingernails. That said, I can't say I really hate doing it. But it is like fingernails, right? <laughs> it's just not really great either, huh? I suppose I can't judge Barrel after all. Now when I'm doing the same thing as them. Wait, what? Barrel. Uh, it hurts to see you look so upset, Mashi. Oh well, no going back now. Especially not when you're still severely outnumbered. Yeah, I actually know nothing about what happens with Barrel in Lost Boat 6. I've read a little bit about Lost Boat 6. Like, a tiny, tiny bit. And I know, like, about a servant. Like, their class. <laughs> but you, there's no avoiding that. Come on, guys, let's keep it up. You don't have any time to be slacking off. Okay, so, Cohen, Sky, and Pepe are gonna help out? Still got your armor, but no, we don't want that. We want this. So the juicy bond. Okay. Let me take a drink of water. Wish I known this would have been such like a battle heavy chapter. Uh, I would have prepared in advance. Uh, I haven't been playing any more Dark Souls lately, uh. I need to get around to that. I'm fairly close to beating it. Well, I guess I still have the DLC, too. Did, did I talk about how much I hate the second half so far? I've, I've, of the second, I think I've done Mito and the Four Kings. And I hated everything about them. Like, going to them, fighting them. Okay. Gated into the Four Kings wasn't awful. Like, it wasn't the best area, but it wasn't the worst. But Tomb of the Giants is just hell. Like, Nito itself isn't that bad of a boss fight. It's, it's the run back that's bad. Yeah, enough about that. Too much Dark Souls is bad for, you know, one human can't handle it. Eh? What about visual novel? Well, I already talked about White Album too, didn't I? I don't know, maybe I'll take a break after I finish the introduction and read like Boku Ten, which I bought and installed during the winter sale. I've been interested in it for a while and, you know, finally got around to buying it. Maybe. We'll see. There's a lot of visual novels that I've kind of missed out on in the past couple years, just because I haven't been reading a lot lately. Well, reading a lot of visual novels. Like, I don't... White Album 2 is the first visual novel I'm reading since, I, I think, Symphonic Rain, which was like two or three years ago. Well, about... Yeah, around there, actually. Which, Symphonic Rain, I actually really enjoyed. It was... 
It reminded me a lot of canon. Like, in a lot of ways. Like, especially, like, kind of, kind of just the like atmosphere, too. It just sounds like it's an older visual novel. Like, you just has that, that sense of, like, early 2000s. Well, canon was, like, 1999, wasn't it? You get what I mean. I think Kane was 1999. Might have been 2000. Well, nobody... Nobody was even alive back then. Well, I mean, I was, but... Barely, but I, I was. I gotta get back to Chaos Child, though. Just... I wanna make sure I'll... Like, I don't wanna read it until I can, like, binge it, you know? Oh yeah, I remember that was a lot of fun of reading, like, Chaos Ed, and Steins Gate, too, and Fata Morgana, and just, like, just knocking out, like, five videos a day, like, which is, like, you know, three hours or so worth, and just, you know, cruising past it. Being able to only, like, you know, an hour or two, you know, well, more than that a week, but, you know, not much per week, you know, just isn't as, doesn't have the same charm. Anyway, I will be getting back to Disco Elysium, though. Uh, probably as soon as I finish Lost Belt 4. Well, let's say as soon as I start Lost Belt 5. Gotta get past, you know, the... Maybe the first couple of chapters. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Lately, I've been doing two Baker and Order videos per day when I record, which is, like, maybe three or four days a week. And... I think it would probably be one fake video, one Disco Elysium. Unless, like, I'm at a really good part or something. Wait, yeah, I guess Lost Belt 5's coming up, isn't it? Wait, what did Pepe do? I haven't really noticed him. Did he, like, apply a debuff or something? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. I am looking forward to Lost Belt 5 because people say it's, well, I, I know Lost Belt 6 was well received, right? So I don't know if they still say it's the best. But I know at the time they were saying Lost Belt 5 was the best chapter in Figure and Order. Well, 5-1. I, I don't know about 5-2. I've heard, I think I've heard people say it's not as good, but I think the climax is good. Oh, yeah. But getting there is, I don't know. I have heard it's, I think it's a little shimosa like in structure. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember there's a lot of bosses. <laughs> we done yet? Oh, it's turn eight. Yeah, okay, perfect. William Tell. Okay. Oh, post battle. There isn't a single wasted emotion in his combat style. Pepe, he's obviously very proficient in it. I've seen other styles like it before. His movements and methodology are straight out of an Assassin Emmy and Emmy Alters playbook. You've been hoarding out on us, Pepper Grants, you know. Well, of course I was. Beautiful people like myself don't reveal all, all of the first date. Beauty? Not sure what beauty has to do with it, but at any rate, I'm glad to see you can fight. But of course, true beauty is freedom after all. There's nothing those of us with beautiful bodies can't do. I told you I had a beautiful body too, Yami. What do you hold it against me? Oh, you had it. I don't know what you mean by that, but whatever it is. I'm quite certain now is not the time for it. No, no flirting during wyvern fights, Pepe. You're no fun. I guess you're right. We still have to do more sacred beasts. We still have more sacred beasts to deal with. Hang in there, people. Ashvataman and the other should be done soon. For now, the dance continues. Yeah, like, hey, the Lost Belt isn't quite long enough. We need to pad for time a little. <laughs> Another one? Yep. 6 AP this time, though. Someone else gonna fight, too? Or is it just not going to be endless, well, endless amounts? Are we still not done? This is getting really old. There's no end to them. 
It's as though every sacred beast in the world is coming after us. Foe, foe. We haven't heard any status reports from the border for a while now either. Can't tell if we're making progress or going in circles. But either way, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna keep doing what we can as best we can. Burn. Burn. Gotta burn myself. My anger. For fuel. We'll never get Arjuna to drop his guard again. This is our only chance. This world space-time is coming apart at the seams thanks to Arjuna breaking and remaking it over and over. But it's that instability that will let us break the rules and send someone back in time, even if we only get one shot. First off, we gotta awaken Mahakala, the manifestation of Shiva inside me so I can, I can control time itself. Next, I'm gonna need a metric ton of magical energy. Fortunately, I know just where to get it. Since that guy Arjuna is still my master, I'm not gonna be shy about grabbing some of that endless magical energy for myself. That's part of controlling servants, master. They need more magical energy, it's your job to fork it over. Question mark? Of course, you'll figure out what I'm up to soon enough. That's why we we'll only get one shot at this. Gotta make sure everything's in place before you can mess it up. What's taking you guys so long? Hurry it up already, dang it! I'm a guardian. I protect countries, people, hopes, dreams. That is why I am here. That is why I exist. As a queen, I may have failed to protect my country, may have lacked the skill needed to help my people's rebellion succeed, but I think that's why I was called here, so as some sort of hero. I think this world is giving me another chance to get it right. It's challenging me to protect the things I couldn't protect before. Very well. Challenge accepted. I am Lakshmi Bai, the Rani of Jansi. To those kind failures lending me your strength, a Lakshmi, the goddess of misfortune, and I promise you this. We will not let you one more thing be cruelly and unjustly taken from us. This time, we will protect everything. Nahi Dungi. I probably said that wrong. Are you seeing this, Karna? In the end, this is what it all comes down to. I'm going to be true to myself. Obstinate pessimism and all. Since there aren't many things I'm good at, I want to at least be decent at the things I'm used to. Once, in a very different time and place, you believed in me completely, even though you knew I wasn't special. So now, even though I'm scared, I'm gonna act like what I'm about to do is just no big deal, just like I usually do. Besides, I'm not running away from everything this time. I'm just waiting for someone to come and get me. Hey Ganesha, so you drew the short, short straw using me as a vessel? But you know what you're getting in for, right? I sure hope so, seeing as you picked the world's biggest need and all. Ganesha is the god of prosperity, the god of knowledge, and the god of obstacles, especially removing them. And what are obstacles? Obstructions. Things that try to hold us back and stop us from getting where we want to, where we need to go. I've always been keenly aware of obstacles, I feel like I've been surrounded by them my whole life. So for me, treating the entire outside world like one giant obstacle is as easy as pie. Alright, it's time to gather up that power. Solidify it to protect me in my own little world. So I'm to make a nice comfy neat cave to to last me a good long time. Completely impenetrable domain that not even a god could hope to pry open. Ganesha V Nesvara. Oh, is that her noble phantasm name? Wait, I can sense their noble phantasms. Did they make it? Alright. You guys better hang in there. I'll be mad as heck if you give up before you're done. But hey, don't worry. Sure you'll be gone a long time. Well, you see you again real soon. Mahakala Shikati! Oh. Bye. <laughs> you know, they had a cool, like, animation for, you know... Arjuna blowing everything up <laughs> for that, you know, <laughs> swirly circle. They're gone. You sure it worked, Ashw Ashwatthaman? <laughs> what? Trying to make me mad now? Look up, dummy, and see for yourself. They did it. All we've got to do now is pick our heroes up and congratulate them on a long job well done. <laughs> Are you alright, Ashwatthaman? 
Thought I still had your curse. It's not the curse, dang it. It's because I used too much power to mess with time. Don't worry about that now. Okay, finally understand now. I know just where we need to go to pick them up. There's one more problem. Now that Lakshmi's not here, the Kali aren't helping us anymore. Uh, this is way more trouble than I expected. Alright, fine, I'll just consider everything around as an enemy then. We'll just have to make through them by the best- Wait, so is that what- Oh! Oh, I, I... Is that what the Seraph cube is then? It's just them hiding? In Arjuna, don't mind us, we're just a giant cube! <laughs> Maybe? There's still a huge number of hostiles, but I know we can get past them. The Ornex has accumulated some strain, but it still hasn't reached its limit. Well, why would all the beasts hang out around there then? Because, I mean, Arjuna... Well... Huh. There should be no issue using it in combat. Moving forward, please make sure to stay right behind me, Master. The point of it wasn't to make something that could... Resist, you know, Arjuna's robot phantasm. It was meant to be something that blends in. Which, I mean, if the beast knows it's there, then Arjuna knows it's there, right? Or did they just coincidentally put it right over where Arjuna, like, they put his sacred beast in their downtime? But, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Time travel, you know. I mean, they could just not be the cube. But given they said they know where they are, and there's this huge Deus Ex Machina of a giant cube still laying around. It's not the right term for it, but... Right. What? We, we can actually finish? Hey, look, dude, it's five. It's not like 10,000. Weird. It's better be the last battle. <laughs> Oh, Going Sky is still helping. Thank you. I wish I would have saved this then. Kinda of tired. I still want to do the next chapter though today. Because if I get 18 out of the way, I can finish the last boat. Uh, tomorrow? If I record tomorrow. Wait, on my next recording session, let's say. Because 19 is long, but 20 is short. So. We can definitely get it done. And then, we're free! Which. This also has been pretty good so far, actually. It still depends on how the climax goes, but I'd rate them 1, 4, 2, 3. Yeah, I think that's fair. Three, like... It was short, so I don't think it was bad. But if it was longer, it could have been better. Basically. I think they needed to expand on more things. To, you know... That was its main problem. But the pacing, just, you know, being a fast Lost Belt... Was refreshing. It's usually... You know, we need uh, tens of thousands of awards before we can accomplish anything. <laughs> I, I think it's the sh shortest last spot by far, right? I remember looking at the word counts. Uh, I think, well, I think 5.5. Yeah, I forget the name of it. The one with the big snake girl. Whose name I don't actually know. <laughs> oh, that's a writer, so this... I don't believe. No, okay. This should work. Killing all three of them. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Like that, that works, and this is a crit, so it should kill it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I'm a genius. And let's use this. Get some more stars out. Oh, for at least. Well, we almost definitely have two crits. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the middle one didn't crit. It's unfortunate. And that's what tilt. If I remember right, my pro main problem with it is it just took too long to get going. 
And plus, uh, well, Lost Boys 3 also had this problem, but the human side of it just wasn't very well developed. Like, you know, we had Gerda, but her job was basically, hey, be cute girl. She was very good at it. <laughs> but, which, I mean, uh, what's her name? Asha has a similar role, but she's just more developed as a character. Which, you could argue was the point of Lost Boat 2. Like, they were treated like, you know, like cattle a little bit. Although, in this world, they still aren't, you know... They're a little more independent than, you know, Lost Boat 2. Still got their problems, but... And Lost Boat 1 is still just... It did a lot of things right. Like, the atmosphere in the beginning is... The big thing I loved in it. Uh... Let's just make sure we hit it this turn. We could probably just do a Scotty triple chain and... Well, you know, you know what, Scotty? It's your time to shine. Like, the atmosphere in the beginning, Potsy is a character, just the whole world is a character, you know. The reveal at the end, you know, the cast of servants, Antalanta was good, Salieri was cool, uh... Kadok was also like, yeah. I don't know about Kadok, honestly. Like, Anastasia, I think, was a weak link. Like, I always liked her as a character, like, especially her design, but she didn't really stand out in the last belt, especially since it was named after her. Ivan was... He was cool. I, I like his speech at the end with the good all. Such call. Yep, zero IP, perfect. It's just too many. I felt like I could use my body like normal. Oh crap, is that... You must have finally figured out something was up. Yes, it's no surprise. This we messing with time itself. What's your English for Talman? Ajun is on his way over. Based on how fast Vimana is approaching, we don't have much time. I'm sure we don't. These things just keep coming, no matter how many we kill. They are going to pick them up. This way, we won't even be able to get through all these sacred beasts in Kali. Looks like your plan won't work after all. Your idea of making a perfect god fundamentally flawed from the start was so wonderful it made my ears stand on end. But it seems you're just one, two steps short of seeing it through. I can't break through all these hostiles. After we've come all this way. Dang it. Isn't there anything we can do? Hey, Koi and Skyo, you wanna go like pick them up? Just run through. Anything? No, we're not giving up yet. Well, okay. 120%. Oh. Get a ride. We're out in time. The border? Uh, how? We can talk later. Hurry up and get in already. Gordolf understands talking is not a free action. Sorry to worry you. Couldn't even spare the resources to tell you we're, we were on our way at top speed. Wait. What are you doing in the middle of this lost boat anyway? Isn't it dangerous for you to be here? Oh, believe me, I told them over and over, in no uncertain terms, how bad of an idea this was. The zero sails are lifeline. Even a little damage to the border would make it impossible for us to evade the next cataclysm. Needless to say, we were risking everything to come here. But... Ugh, so many Kali and sacred beasts up ahead of us. This is the worst S-curve I've ever had to drive through. If Gordolf ever gets to be a servant, he should be an, an S-curve servant. Can't believe they're making me drift in a 12-wheeler. <laughs> well, what do you know? I actually did it. Surprised? I am too. Go on then, all of you. Hurry up and strap in. Straight isn't going to get any smoother. We don't want you getting hurt if we run into anything. If you die, horsey, that's the end of everything. There's no point in keeping the border out of harm's way if there's no one, no one around to drive it. A pick crew certainly can't compete in a race on their own after all. But Gordolf's the best, I love this guy. You finally started talking to yourself, chubby. But who cares, you actually pulled it off. And no fat jokes. Still can't believe we got there in time. We've had like 20 this chapter. I had my doubts about him driving the border manually, but I guess machines really do require an analog touch. Wait, hang on. Why does it look like he's holding the wheel? This isn't normal, believe me. See, we were thinking about what we can do to get you, you guys as fast as possible. 
Gordo has a lot of experience playing F-Zero. And we decided the best way to do that would be to share the load. French Cooking and Moy and I control focused on controlling the engine and making sure all the board is powered went to keeping it at top speed. And Gordy's job was to focus on the actual driving. I swear, I don't even know when he installed the extension system that let us split our jobs like that. I didn't have anything better to do, that would be useful. <laughs> Get this, Horsey. Turns out our director is actually a pretty cool driver, pardon my French. Heh, <laughs> well, I could have let the detective keep the top score on the simulator's highest difficulty course forever. <laughs> French actually beat his record just the other day. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Greatly applauds while smiling, Riley. Well, I do prefer on road. I've driven more than. More than my fair share on off road as well. They say that Phoenix shines brightest when things are at their worst. I haven't watched the Carnival Phantasm uh, for Grand Order yet, like the new seasons, but there better be a racing episode where Goldolf drives to the Shadow Border. Yeah, move, move, get out of the way! His con concentration is incredible. Did it come out yet? I think it did, right? It's right between Sacred Beast Link and the Kali alike. <laughs> Some good anger you've got there, big guy. Like how you let it loose in your driving, too. Are you angry, too, Director? You know what? I am! Dang it! And not just because we had to save you two to keep our hopes of fixing this mess alive. I my own bones to pick with this world. Huh? But since I can't give this world a good slug, picking up my resentment towards it with the border. Perfectly natural for defects. Give him the good old Gordolf punch. And failures to be erased in this world. How dare they say that in front of me? Ever since I, Ward of Music, was born, never did anything well enough to get so much as a single gold star. Well, now it's time to show off what a disgraced noble is really made of. Whatever you do, don't undo your seatbelts. Try not to talk unless you want to bite your tongue. Well, um, you'd say Sal is coming. But at least now we should be able to meet back up with Ganesha and Lakshmi. I just hope we don't in run into any more trouble. On the way there. Indeed. I'm seeing a signal in the distant eastern sky. It's Arjuna. We can't let him catch up to us now. Flora, Devancy. What do you think I'm doing? Do they want to help me go faster? Just leave me to it. Keeping the engine running at full speed without it blowing up in our faces isn't as easy as, as they make it look, you know? Is that the end of the chapter? Yeah, okay. So next time, I guess we'll be... We're going to the cube, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Like, God Skyboarder, right? We had to do something with it. Together with you, at the end of the eternity known as the moment. Hmm. We have courts, but I don't think there's anything I really want in the gotcha right now. But yeah, we're nearing the climax. 19's the big one, so I assume, you know, may maybe we fight Arjuna once next I'll have to look at the battles. Um, do I need to, like, that's a, that could be Arjuna, <laughs> or it just could be a bunch of sacred beasts, who knows. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time with some more Faker in Order. Oh, this is, wait, I, I think I had to make a cut one, so this might actually be over an hour. Huh. Well, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.